Okay, yeah. If you haven't had a chance to uh, look at the other video, please watch it. That way, you know, you, you know the beginnings of this. But the next lab really talks about the factors that influence the rate of the reaction. So this is chapter 14. I'm not going to go over everything I discussed, but what I'm going to go over is the order of reaction. So remember, this chapter talks about the rate of the reaction. So when I was learning this in school, I used to be an athlete. I used to run. I run track and cross country. So when I got to this chapter, I was trying to bring my world into chemistry. So I was thinking like a coach, what does the coach do to prepare us or to make to influence our ability to run faster, right? Different things. And the coach has to think in a way as a as an engineer, what can he do to make us run faster? If you're running a relay race, what can he do to make sure the whole group wins, right? In a relay race, you have four athletes all competing to make sure that as a group, they win, right? As we're going into the order of reaction, the order of reaction talks about each individual, so to say, in the race. How does each player, how does each athlete contribute to the whole? So think about the reaction as being the rate, I mean, the reaction as being the race, reaction as being the race, and then the individual as being the reactant. So you want to know there's some people who run fast, there's some people who run slow. In the end, how does each individual influence the race that they're running? Do they make the time shorter, therefore they win? Or do they run too slow, therefore slowing the whole group down? And as far as the coach is concerned, when it comes to a relay, the coach has to be very strategic in where he places the runners, right? If you watch relay races, the last person usually has to be the fastest. That last person can sometimes erase the mistakes of the other people by, by catching up on time, OK? And then the first person has to be fast, the last person has to be fast, and then the people you have in between can be slower. When it comes to the reaction rate, we'll see how the slowest reaction in the steps can actually influence the rate of the reaction. So the order of the reaction, as we talked about last week, is the number that talks about how each reactant influences the reaction rate. So I worked this out last week just to show you that, let me start right here. Yeah, we have this rate law. So this is an example of the rate law that I worked out last week. And in the rate law that I worked out last week, the rate law usually has this format where you have the word rate. You always leave the word rate as rate. You don't put a number there. And this is the rate of the reaction that's being monitored. Equal to, you always leave the constant as K. So if they ask you to write a rate law, you will write rate equal K. This has to be written that way. And then here you write, depending on how many formulas affect the rate of the reaction, each formula, each chemical formula that affects the rate of the reaction, and most of the time what you have here are reactant formulas, you will put them in parentheses. So what I worked on last week, this is the answer I got. The rate of the reaction is affected by two chemicals. Well the way I've written it here. Two chemicals may be able to influence the rate of the reaction. The first one is NO2. The second one is CO. So the question is, how do they influence the rate of the reaction? Well, looking at the superscript here, this is the order of the reaction. The order of the reaction tells you how each formula in the parentheses influences the rate. So since I worked here, let me go ahead and analyze this as we go into the details. So rate is equal to K and O2, raised to the power 2, C, oops, C, O, raised to the power 0. So we see that N, O2 is second order, right? Second order based on this number here. So if somebody asks you what is the order of reaction, you would say NO2 is second order. But what does that mean? What does this mean? What's the implication? How does knowing that NO2 is second order influence 
the way you design the experiment. This means when concentration of NO2 is doubled, the rate of reaction is quadrupled. Oh, I can't spell quadruple. Hold on. I think it's just you. <laughs> yeah, these phonetics in English, man, it's like a whole different thing. So you can kind of isolate, right? Because we're trying to see the influence of NO2 on the rate. So to isolate it, I'm just going to write rate equal. K is a constant, so you can write it in or you can leave it out because K value is not changing. So for this purpose here, I'm just going to leave K out. I'm trying to see what kind of influence does NO2 have on rate. So since we said NO2 is second order, okay, that means if you double the number in here, you have to square it, right? That will double the rate. That's what second order means. So to know a second order is good, but you also have to know the implication. What does this mean? How does this play out, right? So let me show you how doubling NO2 will change the rate. Say NO2 has a concentration of, let me pick an easy number, uh, 2 molar. If it's 2 molar, I'm going to figure out the rate. Rate will be equal to 2, the concentration, and then square it. So rate will be equal to 4 right? And then let me go ahead and double the amount of NO2. If I make NO2 now 4 molar, I can now figure out the new rate because the relationship between NO2 and the rate is consistent. NO2 always influences the rate in a second order way, okay? So now I can figure out the new rate of reaction when NO2 is doubled. 4 squared, what is this? 16. So the rate when NO2 was 2 is 4. The rate when NO2 was doubled is 16. How is the rate changed from the original rate 1 to rate 2? You can see right here, times 4, times 4. That's why they use the word quadruples, right? It's quadrupled because of the order. So we're going to go through line by line and look at how zero order influences the reaction, first order influences the reaction rate, and then second order. We have already seen second order, right, based on this question. Then I mentioned here again last week that what about CO? CO is raised to the power zero. What does that mean? So CO here, the chemical CO, carbon monoxide, is actually zero order. Sometimes they call it zero order. Some book call it zero order. I don't know what's up with that, but hey, this is the terminology they use, zero order. So I'm like, okay, zero order. What does zero order mean? In math, any number x power zero is equal to one, right? So we're going back to the math rules. So rate is equal to the constant times CO power zero, okay? Once again, we're trying to see, based on what I did last week, what this means. So rate is equal to K times CO power zero. This just means that since CO power zero is the same thing as one, I can rewrite this as rate equal to K, and then this whole thing becomes one times one. So rate is constant. Okay, so this just means no matter what I do to CO, the rate is going to be the same number, it will not change. So changing concentration of CO will not change the reactant. 
okay? So remember how I started this whole lesson today with that whole track analogy, right? Especially the, the relay race analogy. S since people know the mechanism of running a relay race, they tend to, to give the, the middle positions to the questionable runners, the one that you can't really trust because they're not consistent. They can be slow sometimes, fast sometimes, kind of to me as, as you view them like the zero order people, you put them in the middle, right? Because the, the first and the last runner can kind of overcome their errors, right? Bottom line here, we know that a zero order chemical will not influence the rate of the reaction. So if your boss tells you, make the reaction go fast, don't even try to change this amount here. You're just gonna be wasting chemicals. It will not make the reaction go fast because you know ahead of time, it's a zero order, okay? So we're gonna work another problem out. I wrote my, to myself, start here. So here we have a balanced equation and we're being told uh, reaction. Normally, I don't do the four practice, but I didn't want to start this lesson going over the new stuff, so I wanted to do this again. We're told here, consider the following equation. So we have a balanced equation. Uh, initial rate. Oh, we, we're going to be figuring out the reaction order. Okay. The initial rate of the reaction is measured at several different concentrations of the reactants with the following results. So we have this balanced equation, right? Remember I mentioned last week, I'm going to keep referring to last week that way, if you got a chance to skim over the PowerPoints, but you didn't really get stuff, I'm still referring to it, okay? So at this point, somewhere in the PowerPoint, I told you that we're trying to figure out the rate of the reaction, how fast the reaction is going by only studying the reactants. When we started last week, we're studying both the reactants and the product. But from here on, we are only studying the reactant. So we're looking at the rate of the reaction from the reactants. And we're asking, how are the reactants making this reaction go fast? So anything that's a reactant here can qualify in our rate law, OK? So the general form is rate is equal to K times whatever reactants you have in brackets. So even though I haven't done my math yet, I can write a mock rate law, okay? So I'm gonna write it here. I know in the end, my rate law will look something like this, rate equal K, and then I have two chemical reactants. The first one is bracket CHCl3, raised to the power M. Second formula, Cl2, raised to the power N. This is my generic rate law. Okay, I haven't done the work though. I'm gonna be doing the work like it says here, find the reaction order. I'm gonna do the work to figure out what M is and figure out what N is. Once I figure those out and I plug them back into this equation right here, then I get my real rate law. So this is kind of like a placer, a hold, placeholder, placeholder. It's like a placeholder <laughs> equation, right? Rate law until I get the real one just to let me know ahead of time, this is what my goal is, okay? You're figuring out the reaction order, meaning you're gonna try to solve for N. So solve for M and N in the rate law. Once I solve for M and N, I'm gonna replace M and N in my holder rate law, and then I have gotten my rate law, okay? To solve for the order of reaction M and N, you're always provided with a data table because you only get it from experiments. So it says here, the initial rate of the reaction, this is the rate right here, is measured at several different concentrations, AKA an experiment of reactants with the following results. Okay, so I have the one reactant concentrations in molar, the second reactant concentrations right here. Okay, so we're going to do the work required to get the order M and N. Okay, so telling you here, finally the question, from the data, determine the rate law. Now, I already wrote my mock rate law right here. I can just be lazy and copy it over. I mean, oh, they have updated this app. Okay. There, copied it over. This is not my answer, right? I still have to replace what M is 
and actually replace what n is to get my actual rate law. And then I'll figure out the rate constant. Then I'll solve for k. So here I'll be solving for k. OK, I can do this. So how do I get m and n? Let me go ahead and add pages here. OK, so I need my table here to get these numbers. And I'm going to show you what colors I choose, or I'm going to color my choices. Let me put this right here. So I actually need to solve for M. I'm going to write my rate law. Let me move this rate law down here, because I actually need this for visual purposes. I like to write my rate law ahead of time, because it visually helps me to see what I'm looking for, and it does help me to focus also. So right here, I'm going to start by solving for M. When I was a student, I wasn't organized because <laughs> I was still trying to figure things out. So sometimes I'll just do stuff and I'm like, what are you solving for? I don't know. One of them, whatever. Okay. I'm going to be more structured because now I'm a teacher. Okay. Solving for M. So if our goal is to solve for M, that means that we're trying to solve for M. So in our calculations, M should remain. So to solve for M, my strategy here is to pick two experiments where CL2. Why am I picking CL2? Because CL2 doesn't have M on it. CL2 is power N. So where the CL2 concentration is constant. OK? So pick two experiments where CL2 concentration is constant. Because I'm trying to make sure when I cancel things out, M remains. So to solve for M, I'm writing here on a side note, make sure M remains. Let me tell you what I did, okay, as a student. Sometimes like my, my plan was to solve for M, but I'll cancel out M. Then just go back and change your title and say solve for N, okay? So pick two experiments where CO2 concentration is constant. So I'm going to CO2 right here. I got to pick two experiments where the number in CO2 is the same. Oh, I can't erase that. So what do you all think? Let me, let me label these. Experiment one, two, three, four. So what experiments do you all think I should pick where the concentration of CO2 is the same? So we're looking at this right here. What do you all think? I have four experiments. The experiments are you're reading them across, right? So I need to pick two experiments where the concentration, the number on the concentration. So we have these four numbers I'm looking at here, where the numbers in the concentration of CL2 remain the same. So which one do you think I should pick? You can type in your answer. Anybody? OK. I'll take exper the first experiment and the second experiment. The number is literally the same, right? Put 0, 1, 0, put 0, 1, 0. OK. Now, when it comes to writing it out, though, the question is, I'm going to be taking writing the rate law for the two experiments, experiment 1 and experiment 2. Do I want to do and then divide the two rate laws? Do I want to write the first one first or the second one first, which is which? I usually look at the remaining numbers, these two and these two. I like to put my bigger number on top since I'm dividing. I don't want to deal with fractions. As a student, I've, I got decimals, fractions, and you need to be able to intuitively see the relationship between decimals or fractions to see the exponential relationship. That's too deep. So if I flip it, it makes my life a lot easier, right? So what I mean by this is once I'm I pick my two experiments, so my experiments are experiment one and experiment two. That's my choice, OK? How am I going to do it, though? I'm going to write the rate law. So I'll say here, write rate law 
experiments. I picked those. Second one, right rate law for both experiments. Okay. Remember, the bigger one will be on top. So essentially, I write experiment two over experiment one. Okay. So the rate law looks just like what I had here, right? So maybe I can copy this again. <laughs> this is being copied a lot. I'll put it right here so I can see. It's just like this, only we're trying to solve for M and N, right? M and N. Okay, so in the place of this word right here, I have to find the rate for experiment two. The rate for experiment two, let me use a yellow highlighter. These are the numbers I'm working with in writing the rate law. My rate for experiment two is this number right here, right? And then I have to use the units too. So 0 0.0069, 0 0.0069 M over S. Ooh, I wrote too big, sorry y'all. I write like I'm on campus and I'm still, I need a little bit more space than that. 0 0.0069 big M over S, right? That's the unit, okay? Equal to, and I have to write K. I don't know what K is, so leave K as is. And then open parentheses, and I have to write the concentration that goes with this formula here, CHCl3, right? So let me find CHCl3. I'm doing experiment two, right? That's this number here, 0 0.020. I put 0 0.020 raised to the power M. So well, the unit here is M raised to the power little m. The next formula, this right here, the number that goes with CL2 for experiment two, that's this number right here, 0 0.010, 0 0.010 M raised to the power N. So I did that for experiment two. I see I wrote a little too small here. I like these to be a little lined up. I know it's those little obsessive tendencies I have, right? Excuse me, guys. For some reason, it makes me feel better. It has nothing to do with my, my efficiency. It just makes me feel better. Okay, that's my experiment two rate law. Now, on the bottom part, I'm going to write my experiment one rate law. Okay, experiment one rate law, I have 0 0.0035, 0 0.0035 big M over S equal, again, I don't have K. You never have K. I shouldn't say you never. Never say never. Okay, you normally don't have K in the beginning, right? So K is always written as K is a constant. And open parentheses, then you have to find the number here. So I'm done with this part. I've done K. The number that goes with CHCL3 for experiment one. So I'm done with these, right? I'm done with that. This number is what I'm writing next, 0 0.010. 0 0.010 M raised to the power M. This is the same number as before, 0 0.010, 0 0.010 raised to the power M. I mean N, N. Okay, don't get don't get too hang up on these letters. There's some books that use HK, HK, whatever, PQR. I've seen some XYZs. So the M and the N are the most common ones, but I've seen all kinds of letters out there. Okay. And I'm like, why are we using different letters, different author, but same meaning, same purpose? So remember, we're trying to solve for M, right? So cancel out what's common. I'm going to cancel out the units, cancel out K. K is the same. It's the same reaction, so K is constant. This whole number and its exponent matches the bottom number. I mean, you picked up the experiments on purpose to cancel out the N part, right? So that cancels out. Now we can consolidate, right? We have 0 0.0069 here divided by 0 0.0035 equal 0 0.020 over 0 0.010 raised to the power m raised to the power m. Okay, this is what we're left with. Now, mathematically, we're going to consolidate this even further for our own uh, purposes. So on the right, we consolidate the numbers, the base numbers, because the exponents are alike. So it's going to be 0 0.020 
divided by 0 0.010 raised to the power m. So technically, we're consolidating the exponent, not the base, yeah. Because the, since the exponents are alike, we pretty much write it, rewrite it like that, OK? And then I can go ahead and solve the number on the left, actually divide it out, 0 0.0. Oops, my calculator is off. 0 0.0069 divided by 0 0.0035. 1.971. Hmm. Okay. And I have this number on the right. So here, when you divide these two, 0 0.020 divided by 0 0.010, I get 2. So here, 1.971, we can round this up to 2, y'all. I don't like to complicate this up any further. I round it up to 2. Here we have 2 power m. Mathematically, if the base numbers are equal to each other, then the exponent numbers are equal to each other. So you want to rewrite 2 as a base number raised to an exponent. So I'm going to rewrite this as 2 power 1, which is the same thing as 2. I'm not changing the value of this. And then make this equal to 2 power m. So m is equal to 1. So what was this reactant again? The reactant that we wrote first. CHCl3, the M, <coughs> M is power one. So that means CHCl3 is first order, right? Because we got M equal one. So now we can find the order for the second one. Okay, we can now yeah. solve for. If you haven't and had a chance to uh, so look at the I'll other video, please watch it that way. You know, you you know the beginnings of this, n. but the next lab to really talks for about n, like we did the before, factors that influence two experiments the rate of the time, reaction. So this is chapter see, fourteen. This? I'm not gonna go over everything but I discussed. Taking two but what I'm gonna go over is the order of. Oh, reaction. this is not gonna work. So remember, because we'll copy this chapter talks about the rate of the reaction. So when I was learning this in school, I used to be an athlete. I used to run. I run track and cross it's country. Constant. So when it's I got changing. to this chapter, I was trying to bring my world into chemistry. So what do y'all think? So I was thinking, like a coach, and our what does the coach do this? We already to prepare us so now to, make, to influence out, our right? ability to run out. faster, right? So different things. Which the coach has to think in a way as a where as the an engineer, amount, what can he do to make us run faster? CH, if you're running CH, a relay race, not changing. What can he do to make sure the whole group wins, right? In a relay race, you have four athletes all competing to make sure that as a Can group tell? they win right where the amount as of we're going into the order of reaction the, the order of reaction talks about each individual so to say in the race how does yeah each that's gonna player, be how experiment does each two athlete contribute to and the experiment three so think about the reaction right? as being again the i look at the other i mean the numbers. reaction as being the race and three is bigger reaction. than two okay uh, I'm going to need this table here. As being so the race. Let me see, let me see if and I then the individual. It's hard to go back and forth and back. So and you want to know there's some people who run fast. There's some people who so run let me scroll slow. Down here. In the end, how see. does each individual for this, influence this the race here? that they're running? Do they make the time shorter? Okay. Therefore, so, they win? Or do I'm they run too slow? Here. Therefore, Let me slow the whole them. group down. And is as far as the here? coach is concerned, when it comes to so, a relay, I'm doing the coach three. has to be very strategic in where he places the runners, Over right? If you watch relay races, the last Two. person usually has to be the experiment fastest. Experiment three, as I'm writing the number, I'm going to be highlighting. Sometimes erase, erase the mistakes of the other people by catching up on time. catching up on time. Ray, okay. and then the first person equal, has to be fast, the last person K, has to be fast, and then the people you have in between CH3, can be slower. When it comes C, to the reaction rate, mm -hmm. we'll see I'm, how I'm the slowest the reaction CH, in CL3, the steps raises the power can actually N. influence the rate CL2, of the reaction. CL2 raises so, the power N. The I'm order following of that the order, reaction, right? as we talked about So my rate has to is be the number, number that talks about here. how I'm using each the bottom reactant influences zero. The reaction Zero, rate nine eight. So I worked M this out last over week S. just to show you that, that number equal k. Right so here. I did this number. I'm doing this yeah. number next. K. Leave it. We as have is. this rate Five law. So this is an example of the rate law that I worked out last right week. Here. And in the rate law that I worked out last week, 
The rate law usually has this zero format two, where zero. you have the word and rate. You always M. leave the word rate. Now remember, as we already rate. solved for this order, there. right? For and this is the rate of the reaction that's being said monitored. M equal to. So you always leave the constant the as k. So if they ask you to Next write a one, rate law. What is the number that goes with C of two? This has to be written that way. Point zero two. And then Point here you write, two, depending zero, on how many formulas power, affect the N. rate of the reaction. You can't each put an formula, N each number because we don't know what N is. We're doing all this work to and find most of the time, what you have here okay. are reaction so formulas. Numbers. You will I'm put highlighting them in parentheses. Them, right? So what done, I worked on done, last week, done. this is the answer Do the I same got. thing for experiment The rate of the two. reaction experiment is two, affected by two chemicals. Well, this is the way I've written it here. Two Point chemicals zero, zero, six, may be nine. able to influence the rate of the M reaction. The first S. one is NO2. Equal the second K. one is CO. So the question is, and how do they influence is, the rate of the reaction? Uh, well, oh, wait, wait. This number, at the so I'm done with this. Here, this, this is, is the order of the reaction. The Not order of the CH reaction tells you how each formula CH, CO3, in the parentheses right right here influences the rate. Point since I work here, let me go ahead and analyze this. I the power one, right? And then the next one, so I'm done with this number. So rate point zero one zero is equal to k raised to the power n. So I did N0 this number already. I just did this number. I'm done with my experiment. C, oops. Okay. So C cancel out what we o have in common. Raise to the power k, k, zero. Cancel out this. this so we see that n. Then we're gonna bring together what we have left. Is mm, second. You just cancel out order. Right, so second order zero, based zero, on this number here. Nine, so if somebody eight, asks you what is the order zero, of reaction, six you would nine say N O two equal. Is second I'm gonna order. do a quick consolidation so here because we know how this is gonna go. Point zero two zero. What does this mean? What's divided by point zero one zero. How does knowing that power N O two is second order influence the way you design the experiment? Oh, point this zero zero nine eight divided by point zero zero six nine concentration. Ooh, I get one point four two. Oh, this is interesting. N O two is doubled. I may have to do some logarithm stuff. The zero zero six rate. I'm for, sorry. Point zero zero nine eight. Let me make sure this is correct. I never done this problem before. Is quadrupled. Yeah. Point zero zero nine eight divided by point zero zero six nine. Ooh, I can't spell quadruple. Why Hold they on. give us a I number that looks like you. that? Trying to force us to use the logarithm. Yeah, these phonetics okay. in English. And this one here is like going to be two. Thing. So you can kind of isolate, right? Because we're trying right. to divide these two of N O two on the. Rate. So this is one of those so problems where you can't just it, round up because rate. technically one point four two k is a is constant. Not, so you can write it in or five, you can leave so you it can't out because k up, value is right? changing. And then it's too far from. I'm just going to leave k out zero, so you can't just. I'm trying to see. So here's where you have to influence. Says right. NO2 Man, they has caught us. on rate. So since we said like NO2 me. is so this is the order. part that I had skipped over last okay. week. Saying, ah, we that have means to do the logs for the most part. If you but double since we've come the to number in here, here, I'm going to show you the logs and how to it, right? Oh, that, that will double back. the rate here. So when you That's get to this point right here, order means. so to know what second here, order is good, you take the but you also have to know sides. the implication. So the, the part how does this play here? out? We had right? 1.01. Can you mind doing so the log of this? Let me show you how doubling NO2 will change oh, the rate. 1.01 say NO2 equal has a two concentration of, let me pick an easy number, uh, and then they took the log of both sides. Okay? To figure out, and they still have to round up. I'm going to figure out what we're going to do. Right, we are kind of like we'll right here. To, we'll take the log of both the sides concentration to solve for and then because square I can't it. just round so up. Rate so rate the situation we have here is slightly four. a little bit more complicated than what we saw right? last week. So I can't just round up. And then let me so go in this ahead situation and here. What was that? Right here. N O two. Take if I make N O two log now, of both four sides. That's my strategy. I can now figure out the yeah, new rate because the I'll relationship log between NO2 and the rate equal is consistent. Log of NO2 two always influences the rate. As far as logarithm order go, okay. this becomes so now I can figure out the new rate of reaction two when NO2 is double equal four log of 1.4 squared. Two. What is this? Okay. 16. And then to solve for n, so the rate divide by when log of NO2 two was 2 divide by is log 4. Of the rate two, when NO2 was double is 16. 
How okay. is the rate changed? So from the original one rate one, one to rate, rate two, this. you can see right okay, here, so what times is four, n times is four, equal to what's that's what I use the word four quadruples, two. right? Let's see. It's using quadruples. Calculator second log function. Because of the order. One, so we're going to go through line answer. by line and look at how zero order okay, influences the reaction. I'm getting the top number here. First order influences the reaction one, rate five, and then two. second order. We have already the bottom seen number, order, right? based on this question. Log and I mentioned here again last week that it's a second function. What about here. CO? Log of CO two, is raised I'm to the power zero. What does that mean? Point three so zero CO one. here, the chemical So I'm going to take my top number. I hope it comes to a nice number divided zero. by my bottom number. So they call it zero order. Some book call it zero order. I don't know what's up with that. And but I get okay. this is the terminology point they use. Five. Zero order. So I'm like, OK, zero, zero order. six. So the way it what works does zero order mean? My In order math, for this is point any five, number, which is the same thing as half zero. order. A half order is possible, y'all. It is right. Possible. So we're going back to the math rule. So, what so we are saying is is equal to Cl two is the one half order. So Cl two is power zero a half a. Order. Once they again, we're trying to see based easy, on what I did. Anyway, last this week. is what I get for this right here. So okay. rate is equal to K. So looking at that, I'm trying to check to make sure. Zero. This just means okay. that. So looking at this here, power zero is the same thing then as we'll one. Go ahead I can and rewrite and write this our as rate, rate law. So they want us to write the rate law. Okay. And then rate this whole law. thing becomes one times this one. This is our rate law right so here. So rate the first is answer. constant. Rate, okay, is equal to So K. this just means C no H matter what I do CL3, to CO, the and then you write the bracket, the same raise number, the power it will one. not change. Since the so one is implied, you leave changing, it out. Changing, and then you write open parentheses concentration, or open bracket, CL2 raised to the power of and half. C it's not common at you guys' level to find fractional orders, but the fractional order is change. possible. In our case, no matter how the I looked at it, I got a fractional reactant. Order. Okay. So this right here okay. will be your So remember how I started this whole lesson today with that whole track rate. analogy, rate right? Law, Especially the, it in this the relay race okay. analogy. The second part so they said solve the mechanism K. of running to a relay race, K. they tend to, to give the, the middle position to the any of the four runners, experiments the you can't really trust any because four. they're not consistent. Okay. They can be so slow pick, sometimes, some fast sometimes. Kind of to me, as as you view them like the, the zero four. order people, the first you put the first them in the middle, middle right? Currently. Because it's just right there. The the first and the last runner. I want this one here. This come there. So I'm gonna errors, copy that. Right? So I don't have to. Bottom try line to here, we know that a zero order chemical will not influence. Okay. The this is the first experiment the I'm using. I'm gonna so plug in the numbers in here and make the reaction go fast. So don't even try to change this amount rate, here. You're just going to be wasting chemicals. It will K, not make the reaction go fast CH, because you know ahead of time CL3, it's a zero Raise the power one. Okay. CL2. So we're going to work another problem out. One I will put to myself okay. start here. So in the place of the word rate, so I'm here put we this have number. a balanced equation. And we're being Point told zero, zero, uh, reaction. normally I don't do the four right. practice, but I didn't want to start this K, lesson. I don't know what the new stuff, stuff, so I wanted to do this again. For this first we're formula here, here consider the following number. equation. So we have Point a balanced zero, equation. One. Zero. Actually, we're going to be figuring here. out the reaction order. Okay. The, the initial rate of the M reaction is measured at several different concentrations of the reactants with the following results. Raised to the power so of one, we one have the balanced equation, right? CL2. Remember I mentioned point last week, I'm going to keep referring zero, to last week. That way, if you got half. a chance to skim over the solve for points, K. but you didn't really get stuff, I'm still referring to it, OK? So, so to solve for K, at this point, somewhere in the PowerPoint, I told you that we're oh, trying to figure out the rate of the reaction, how the fast the reaction is going Man, I'm by only studying the reactants. To solve for K, when we started I'm last week, we're studying is, both the um, reactants I'm gonna open and up the product. And from here on, we're only okay. studying the Let me the work reactants. this part so out we're looking first. at the rate of the reaction from the reactants. And we're asking, zero, one. how are the reactants making And then this, this is raised to the power fast. half. So I'm going to write so power. So anything that's a reactant here can qualify half. in our rate law. OK? So the general form is rate is okay. equal to k. It's like the square root of whatever this reactants you have ends up being brackets. point one. So even okay. though I haven't done, I write the unit yet, m power one I can one write half, a and I'll deal with that as a rate along. law. Okay. And so then I'm right here. here 
I'm going to multiply it by this. Right this. law will look something so like point this. Zero, right equal, okay? one, zero, and then I have times two chemical n. reactions. This is a weird the problem. The first one yeah, is times n. n. Okay. C-H-3. Then we have this k right C-H-3. here, and then we have point zero zero three power m m over n. Second formula. So C-L-2 multiply out the numbers. Raised to the power n. Point zero. This is my generic one, rate law times point okay. one. Okay. So this is times. I haven't zero, done the work though. One, I'm going to be doing the work like it says I here. I end up with find the reaction order. Point zero zero I'm going to do the work to figure here. out what and m this and this is and figure out what I n get, is. Get Once m, I figure those out and I plug them multiply back into m, this equation right here, one then I get one my half, real I rate law. So this m, is kind of like a one, one half. I'll leave it as is for right now. Okay. Placeholder. And it's like a placeholder and then of course equation, right? K. Rate law. Until and then I get the real one. Zero, Just zero, to let me know ahead of time, this is what my goal is. This is one of those weird hypotheses. You're figuring out the reaction order. So divide both sides by this number to get k by itself, 0.001. N divide both sides by 0.001. In the rate law, once I solve for m and n, I'm going to replace m and n in my whole This cancels out, and now we have m power 1, 1 half. Okay. To solve so for the order of reaction, m and zero, n, you're zero always provided with a data table because you only zero, get it from experiments. So it's I don't know. Here. I should have probably used the, the initial rate of the reaction, but I end up with the rate right here. Five is measured at this several ends different canceling concentrations, one of those, aka so I end experiment. up with a reaction. One, the, the unit result. is the number okay. three point five. So I have one the over one reactant power concentrations. Times s. In molar, this is what I get. The for second k. reactant concentrations, okay. right? A here. very weird unit. Okay. But don't obsess so much so, with the unit because we I don't, don't do the see, work required. In most of your the homework, the ones I assign, at least we don't have fractional. Okay, units so like telling that, you here. I haven't given the you ones that have weird orders. From the data, I normally don't do the for the practice right law. one. Now I already wrote my mock more practice right here. I did that. I can just be lazy and copy. So the plan is always this. I mean, in this kind of question, the steps are usually very similar. They you have are asked to figure app. out the okay. rate law. There. Write Copy yourself it over. That place this is not my answer, right? It has still and have to replace what all the reactants and have to replace brackets, raise the power to get of my whatever letters rate you choose. And if then you choose M and the three constant, formulas, then I'll you can K. use M and so P. Here I'll be Don't use M and O because O looks like zero. Four. K. Okay. There was three I can do this. So how do I get M right? K and equal. I mean, rate equal. Let me go ahead and add times the first reactant, second reactant, raise the power M and P. Okay. Solve for M, solve for N, solve for okay. P. So I need my M table once again. Here pick experiment where the other numbers. two sets are. And I'm going to show you what colors to I solve for N. Pick I'm going to experiment where the other numbers are constant. And you figure once here. you practice this, you figure out which ones to pick, right? To solve for the so different I actually need or the different order to solve for use. N. I'm going to write my rate law for M using rate exponent law exponent down, down here because I actually need this for visual purposes. If you purposes, get stuff like, like the write weird my one we have right here, here this it visually helps me to see what I'm end looking up with for. It does help uh, me to focus log. also. So right here, I'm going to start by solving. Yeah, you end up with logs for M. When I was a student, I wasn't nine, organized. Eight. Because I'm still trying to figure things six, out. So nine. sometimes I'll just do stuff. Yeah, and I'm you like, end up with logarithms. What are you like for? I don't know. Like one this. of them. For whatever. the most part, though, remember okay. I told you guys, I'm gonna you be won't have weird questions teacher. like this. Okay. Right? Okay. Solving for M. So if and so I'll you continue and then you get your M, answer. That means that once you get your rate M, law, in our calculations, M should be N. Only then can you solve for M. To My solve for K, here pick is any one of the experiments provided for you. Put the rate number here with the units the concentration here for the experiments that you CL2. pick and then plug in the Why numbers am I picking CL2? and solve for K. You want because to write CL2 K with doesn't the have M on it. CL2 okay. is power K in this N. section has units. So, so let me continue from here. So CL2 concentration, now that we've seen all of these, the other thing that you're going to be able, you're going to have constant. to be able to produce is the overall reaction okay. order. So pick two experiments where CL2 so concentration is constant. This here is a Because I'm trying situation. to make sure when I cancel things out, question. M remains. Okay. This is something so that you need to know. M, I'm writing which here is on how to provide the overall reaction order. Sure. We know the reaction order M for each individual reaction. Let me tell you what I did. Okay. Like we know the speed of my, my plan was to solve for M, but I'll cancel out M. But we want to know, we want to know what is the collective your title influence, right? For N. Now that we know each okay. athlete. So pick now how can we look at all two concentration is and constant. how do they together place in the competition? What is the experiment where the number 
And okay. CO2 is so the what same. is the overall so can't order it. of the reaction? So what do you all think? The overall let me, order of let me reaction label is very these. simple. It experiment. says here, some, One, to get two, that, three, some of the exponents so of the So what experiments do you all think I should pick the overall where the reaction. concentration Just of CO2 is the same? The exponents. Okay. So we're looking at this or right here. what we call what the order of reaction. In other words, overall order of reaction is just M. I have plus four experiments. N. The experiments are you're reading them across, right? So if you have two so formulas that actually influence I need to take two, two reactions that influence the speed of the reaction, where the add concentration their orders and you get the, the number on the concentration. So they give you an example. So we here. have these four numbers Say I'm looking at here. The rate where the numbers in the, the concentration of CL2 remain so the same. So which one do you think I should pick? Let's say rate. The rate law is rate equal. You can type in your K answer times N O, which is actually second order. O2, that is first Anybody? order, right? Second order, the nothing that's implied here is essentially one. And they tell you the reaction is second order with okay. respect to N O. I'll take so the reaction the rate, if you're just looking at how the, the number is literally the same, right? Put zero one by zero, put zero one zero. second order with respect okay. to N O. Now, when it comes to the reaction rate, rate though, the question is, O2, the I'm going to be taking the rate first order with, with two experiments, experiments. Experiment two. one and experiment two. Okay. What I want to do O2 and then divide the two essentially is so first I order write the first in the way it influences the rate, first, the first, the rate but the way which, you write that. I usually look at the remaining numbers. Okay. This is looking at these the individual athletes. The individual I like to reactions. put my bigger but number ask on you top though, since together, I'm dividing. I don't want to deal with fractions. How do they influence the as rate? a student, I you add the two. I got since since the second order for the first one and first order for the second one. You need to be able to intuitively see the relationship between decimals and fractions. So as a group. To As see a dual, the exponential this is how they influence relationship the rate of that's the too deep. So if I flip okay. it, it makes my so life So hopefully that makes sense. This part right? here is really so. What I mean once you by get this, the rhythm of it, I pick my it's two not experiments. That tough so my experiments they don't do a lot of unpredictable stuff. One is the unpredictable that tend to catch me off guard. But two. if they're this predictable, I'm like bring okay. it on. Okay. How am I going to do it, though? I'm now I've kind of talked over this, so this part will go a little faster as far as the rate, the implication is concerned. You want to know generically, so this is kind of going into the whole the second one, right rate law you know chemists like to do for this. generalization experiments. So you want to know in general, okay. remember, what is the bigger one will order be on top. rate so law? Essentially, a right like. experiment so like in general, a zero rate law. Over this is the experiment. rate law. one for a zero okay. order reaction will look. So like the rate this. law looks rate just like what is I had equal here, to right? K. So and A here again. stands for the reactants. This so is being copied a, a lot. I'll it's put just it right here. Some so generic reactants. It's just like kind of like in math. Only we're trying to solve generic for number. N, you're solving right? for M what is wanted. N. N. So this okay. is the general rate. So in the law, place right? of this rate, word equal rate to K, here, I have to the find the rate for experiment. So we're going to be working out the rate for experiment. Let me use a yellow highlighter. If a reaction is the numbers I'm working with, the rate of the reaction does not change or does not depend on the rate for experiment two. Is this number that means you're saying here? And then I have to double a. This will have no effect on the reaction rate. That's what I mentioned earlier, right? Point so the rate law is really rate m over s k. Ooh, I wrote a too big. raised to the power Sorry, zero. You don't leave it as that. I write like you can leave it as that, or you can write I need a little bit more space in that equal constant. But remember, chemistry is a problem zero, solving class, zero, right? Six, nine, a problem solving class as we try to understand the elements. Right? You want to know unit. things more than one rate okay. way because you have equal different to, people communicating have to write the same K. information. I don't know what K is. They so can write K the zero is. rate law this And then way. open parentheses. And actually write oh, the they can write the zero rate this law formula this here. CHCL3, right? The A so let me find concentration CHCL3. raised to the power zero has already been factored in. Point zero two zero. So you want to know it this way? Point zero two or this zero way. so raised to the if power they say there was a M. reaction for the unit here where the M. rate raised to the power did the not M. change in the next formula the concentration right of the here. reactant being changed the number that goes with CO2 like, for oh, experiment they're two, talking about a zero point order zero reaction. one zero okay point then you keep zero reading. one zero okay. M raised to the power so for this part M. here make sure so I'm gonna I did that for an experiment you know, you know this is a zero I order I wrote reaction a little too right small here. i like order, these to be right a little here. lined up I you want to know the generic form this part here or the bottom part guys 
They want to know the implications. For some reason, so it makes me feel better. It has nothing to do with my, my efficiency. It just makes me feel better. Okay, that's my experiment too. So to rate make this part a little no, simpler, part, what I did was I calculated rate the rate of the okay. reaction one rate by changing the concentration. Zero, so you can zero, see. Three, five. Here, this is supposedly my makeup point experiment zero, one. Zero, you want to know how to do this part here, right? Big M experiment over one, S experiment two. Equal so again. I don't have K. You never have K. I should say the rate either faster, slower. Or okay, not you normally change don't have K by the changing the right? concentration so of the reactant. So here, what did I do to make my life simple? Open parentheses. I doubled the concentration. Then you have to the find reactant. the number here. So, so when the, this part. concentration of then A, K was the number one, that goes with C, the rate CL3, of the reaction was four one. Experiment one. Molar so I'm done with these. So right? A was one with molar. This number the reaction one molar per second. Then I doubled A. Use twice the amount. Look at how that influences the rate of the reaction. It didn't. This is the so same number as before, table, point zero one zero. A is not doing much to point influence the rate of the reaction. Zero one zero so raised to the power of M. Zero order. I mean N N. Okay, okay. don't get when I don't get too hang up on these letters. Changed. There's some books that use H right? K. You also H want to know the units of the P rate. Q R. I see some so for this part here, I'm so going to have to add a little bit. The M and the N you the unit. are the most common ones, but I've seen okay, all kinds of we letters say, out there. Okay. For zero order, and the like, rate why we using different letters, different authors, is as false. The same meaning, same rate purpose. So remember, we're trying to solve for open M, parentheses, right? So cancel oh, out the generic common, formula, right? Cancel out the zero. units. So cancel this out K, K is the same. Zero, it's the same reaction. So K is one. Therefore, this whole rate, number and its exponent matches the bottom equal, number. I mean, you K picked up the experiment on purpose, right? To cancel rate, out the end part, right? Equal, so that cancels K. out. The unit for rate is usually now we can M, consolidate right? changing concentration over a second. We have therefore zero, this zero, is six, nine So here, in this section divided here, by you point need zero, to know zero, three, five equal units point zero two k zero over point zero one zero raised to the power so m raised to the this, power m. the rate law. Okay, this is what we're left with. Now, two different forms. mathematically, we're going to consolidate the implication if this even further this part here, for our that changing own, one doesn't change uh, purposes. Changing the concentration so doesn't change the rate. So on the right, we consolidate the, the numbers, the base numbers, okay? Because the oh, exponents are alike. So it's going to be the graph. Point zero two zero well, divided by point zero one yeah, zero. That's coming up raised to the we're power n. So technically, we're consolidating the exponent. Let me not get ahead of myself. Because the since the exponents are alike, we first order. We write it like that. What does first order mean? And then I can go in ahead the first and order reaction the here, as we saw. Actually, divide it out. Point I, again, zero starting with the general, my calculator is off. Rate equal. This is a general point rate. Zero, zero, rate six, equal nine, k divided a by point point zero, zero, three, five. If a reaction is first order, one the rate nine, is directionally seven, proportional to the reactant concentration. Hmm. Okay. So what they're saying here is, and I have this number on the right. So judge here, a chemical you divide these as two, responding this way. What does point that zero, mean? This is the implication, zero, two, the meaning, and how it plays out in the lab. Point zero, one, that means zero, the rate I get of the reaction so is here, directly proportional to the We can round this up to two, okay. y'all. I don't so like to complicate this up. What does that okay. mean? Still, I round it that up to means two. if you double here, we a, have two the reactant. M. That will actually Mathematically, double the rate of if the, the base reaction. numbers are equal to each other. So if you want to other, double the rate of the reaction, then the exponent numbers are equal to each other. Just double the reaction concentration, and that will happen. As a okay. base number raised to an exponent. Let me show you this mathematically. So I'm going to rewrite this as two power one, which is the same thing as two. I'm not changing the value equal of this. Okay. And then make this equal to two. A is your generic M. reactant. We so have no idea what it is. M is you can put equal A here since they put so A. So what was this reactant a again? The power N. The reactant so that this we wrote is first, first order CH N is equal to C L three. The M. So <laughs> rate M is power one. So is equal that to means K. C H A C L three. That's it. And is this is the generic form of first order order right reaction because we got form. M equal so one. So make sure you know that. So now we can okay. find the order for the second one. What's next? We can now solve for N implication. So what does I'll this mean? How does this affect to your solve life? Implication for N doubling. To solve for n, like we did a, before, we're going to pick two experiments where this time, let me see, how do I copy rate this? Of we're picking reaction. two experiments. Remember oh, the other one, the implication, right we'll whatever to a, and nothing two happened to the rate this time the where 
Right. Um, so here you can see in the little table C we have the implication. CH3, this is the one that's constant. responding. It's not changing. You are changing A, and then the rate is responding. So what y'all so think? If we double the reactant and our concentration, focus is now on this. the rate we already solved doubles, for this. Right? Trying to help I didn't work out, this right? out mathematically for the one first out. one, but I'm going to do this so for the second one. So which two experiments should we pick? Uh, where the amount as far as our in the table is concerned, I'm going to look at just CH, CH, the relationship between not rate and A, right? Rate and A. With rate and A, since they have this relationship, for here, I'll say to keep, Can you for tell? those of you who want everything step by step, I'm going to add one more step Where the here. amount of CHCl3 is I'm trying is to same. figure out how does A influence rate? Yeah, that's going to be experiment two. I need to get K out of the way because I feel like K experiment is in the way. three. So I'll make K right? equal one. I, I don't get, know what K is, but I'm going to make it a number I can easily and three work with. Three is right? bigger than two. I'll make K equal one. And let's start to deal okay. with it. So that way it looks like uh, I'm going to need this table here. Equal so see, let me A, see if I like can that. This is the first over. order. It's harder to okay. go back and forth uh, and back and forth. And to back figure and forth. out how this influences the rate, I have to have two experimental states, right? In the see. first experiment, experiment to solve one, for this, I'm going to push put this image. I'll down make here. a concentration equal to one molar. Okay. And then so, for experiments two, I'm using these experiments here. I will just double them. a make a concentration it's these experiments equal to here. molar and see how so changing I'm the doing experiment three of a is is influencing the rate over experiment. We can predict is it going to be fast? It's going to be slow. It's not zero order, so it's going to change it. Three, as I'm writing the number, I'm going to be highlighting. Okay. That's why I erased that. If rate equal with this one, one molar, first. sorry, remember I'm following the order. Then rate, since is, rate is equal rate, to a, guess what? Equal rate is equal K. to one molar also. C H we said right here, rate is C equal to a. Mm -mm. I'm, I'm if I now formula. double a, CH, a is now two CL3, molar, then rate to the power is going to be equal to whatever CL is raised to, to raise the power n. I'm following C, that order, so right? Doubling so my a, rate going from this has to be this, this number. Just doubles the rate here. because I'm they have the a direct number. relationship, Point right? That's zero, what they said it was zero, direct nine eight. M over S is like a direct so influence that number equal K. So I did this number. I'm doing this, this chemical. Next, okay, leave it the as chemical is. directly influences the rate. Concentration of okay. CH3CL3. So back to the which is this number right thing. here. It would be like that runner that determines the rate. Point the rate zero two zero. Yeah. If we're gonna win or lose on this runner right here. Now remember we already solved for this order, influence. right? For C H three C L. Okay. We said but some M runners have one. exponential so influence. I saw this one girl. On YouTube Next recently, one. and I, was like, I wish I was a better like her. <laughs> I was more like the zero order. <laughs> Point zero two. Point okay. zero two zero. I wasn't power. bad. I just wasn't and good. You can't put an N <laughs> number because we don't know not, what N is. We're doing all this work to find is better N. than not okay. than being negative. So I'm done right? with the yeah, numbers. they are negative. I'm highlighting I've seen some done, reactions done, right there right? that slow the done, reaction. Done, that wasn't done. me. Do the same thing for experiment two. For experiment two, I gotta tell the truth. So. This number here. Anyway, point so now zero, let's look zero, at the second six, order, nine. right? And let me make sure I've covered S. all the things that we need to know Equal right K. here. Oh, I've forgotten the units. We have to know and the then units. my top number is. So uh, you oh, wait, see right here the relationship. So I'm done right? with this. So finally, this done. rate K. Now I have to do CH CL3. Unit of CL3. That's going to be this number right here. Of K. Point so we know zero, that rate two, zero m in this first is the power order, one, k, right? Times and then the, the next one, so I'm done with this number. A. Point okay. zero one zero. Rate usually has a unit the power of m. m. So I did this number second. already. I just We're did trying this to number. I'm done with my k. experiment part. What is k? k? Since so a is a concentration, out what we have it has a unit k, of k, cancel m. Out. This this We're trying to solve for k. Then we're gonna bring together divide by m. Units cancel out. Divide by m. So what we end up so having here is point k zero zero is equal nine, to eight m over point zero zero. So you know the multiplying to divide equal rule. Equal I'm going to do a quick consolidation in here because you know how this is so going to go. So this and this zero cancels zero out, zero and we end up with divided by point one zero one zero being the, the power k. n. So in first oh point order, zero zero nine eight divided by point reaction. zero zero six nine. K Ooh, I get 1.42. 1. This is over second no. unit. 1.42. K has this unit. I may have to do some logarithms. K's stuff. unit is okay. 0, 0, 1 6, over 9. second. Okay. For, sorry, it's sometimes 0, 0, 9, 8. 1 Let over second. Sure I've never done the second before. Like this. Yeah. 
point zero zero this nine is the unit for k by point zero in the first zero order reaction nine. so later on you will see because it's a number that looks like that a lot of trying to force us like, to use the logarithm wait a minute does it mean that we can okay. use the unit and this one here is going to be each of the two. orders has their own unit of k Right, can divide these two, you get two power n. and use the unit. Of so this is one of those problems where you can't just round the reaction because is, technically because by this one point four two have questions from students is saying, not well. This is not if we're five, working so problems, how do we know up, what order the right? reaction? The and then question it's too is, far they from. Uh, sometimes they do zero. So sometimes you they can't don't. Just easily and they were like, well, how do you know? So here's where you have to use the law. Interrogate you, man. They and I'm like, well. When you can S use the unit like of K. So this is the part that I skipped the over last is. week saying, ah, we or don't they the will tell you some part. But since we've come to this point here, okay. so I'm going to show you the laws and how they did it. Sometimes you can use the unit oh, of K. Oh, let me go a step back here. So when so you get to this K point right here, first order. when we get to the here, other part that we're discussing you take the tomorrow, you see how the K unit is the There was a part that's missing here. So finally, we had 1.01. Can I do a log of this? Order equal reaction. Oh, sorry. 1.01. I think that's right here. Two power in the n. second order reaction, we start the same way with the generic form, right? And then they took the logs. And then of this both is the one that sides. we saw first with the question I did okay. last week to figure out. And they still had to round up, right? So, so that's kind of what do. we saw last week, right? We, we are kind of like doing right the math here. We we'll take the logs. Now we're learning the heart behind to solve it or for the message behind it. I can't just round if up. If a reaction is second order, have here, the rate is directly proportional to the square of the reactant concentration. So in this situation here, that's what we got. That's why Take doubling A will quadruple log the rate of, of the reaction. Both okay. Sides. This is what That's the rate law strategy. looks like, and this is a unit yeah, for the C. constant. I'll take a log of 1.4. So let me go over that real quick, and then we'll equal start working problems. Log of 2. Yeah, we went over this. As far as logarithms rules for a second go, order reaction, this the rate law n is equal to this log form. of a raised to the power equal uh, log n, of where n is equal to 2. Okay. And so then to rate solve for n is equal to log k of two a divided raised by the power log two. of two. So and that gives us what how our rate and the okay. concentration of a. So I'm going to add one page to the it. The concentration of a is okay, squared. So what is n? To influence n is the rate. equal to what's log of so one point four two. So if that's the case, let's see. Using my calculator, second doubling log function, a like we said before. One, my answer quadruple. Okay, I'm getting the top number here. It's going to be. Point one five right. two because the bottom number, number you have in here has to be squared, log and then that influence oh, is then exerted on the rate. Second Unlike here. the first log order two, where I'm whatever getting you do to a point directly zero influences the one. rate. This is a direct. So I'm going to take my here top you have number. An exponential. I hope it comes into a nice number divided by during the time my of bottom number. We understand exponentially. If we if we if it was something that was removed, it's become very and real get, to our heart. Exponential is five. above and beyond just direct right zero so here six. they're using the so word the way direct, it works out here square my effect. order for this is 0.5 which is the they same use thing the term as direct half order. Order. A, a half direct order is, is possible the square of is the possible. effect so what they mean by that so, is what we are saying is once again the CL2 implication is one the half order so cl2 is because they use certain terms sometimes if you're not order. very familiar with this terms, problem a little be, bit easier but uh, anyway this is what i get for this confusing but then you have okay. to work problems so looking at so if that, i'm going I'm over this a lot because sure. you have to work problems where you have to understand okay. this terminology so looking right? at this here that's how i decided what was important then we'll go statement. ahead and write if i saw a question on it so they want us to write the rate i went back and relearned it rate law implication of these words this is our rate law the implication here is the we're trying to understand answer. how rate, rate relates to is equal to a square h so to get rid of k i'll just make k equal and then you write one. the that's bracket how you get rid of the influence one. of since numbers, the one right? is implied i don't know what out. k is so to kind of and then you get it write, out of the equation so open say parentheses literally, open bracket i'll make k CL equal to two, one so i'm trying to see raise the power how does a it's not Influence common rate. in you guys' level to find fractional okay, I'll start with orders, what but the fractional was order is one. possible. Okay. In our case, it was no matter one, how I looked at it, I got a fractional order. Equal to okay. one squared. So this right here rate will be, be equal to one. Rate law. Okay. That would be the first. So if I double a rate law, you write how it in that this influence form. rate. Okay. This time I'll double the a. second part they say will solve be equal for k. to to solve for two k squared, not just two, but two squared. Choose any of the four, four experiments we have. So even any though four. I'm just doubling okay. A, 
So the weight is not also doubling. It will also double if this was first order. But the four. second Let me take order, the first one, whatever first change you make in A, you is get right there? squared. The squared change. I want this one here. So this first one. The rate so I'm copy actually that, quadruples. So I don't it have to try to remember quadruples. Because the relationship okay. here is, this is exponential, the first I'm not direct. I'm going to plug right? in the numbers direct, in here and they say direct square. So, so you kind of have to read right? everything. It's directly proportional to the square. So this square CH is exponential relationship. CL3, right? raised to the power 1. Okay, now that we know the implication, doubling A doesn't double the rate, one it half. quadruples it. Okay. So in the like place of the word rate, I'm going to put this and number. In the end, what we see is quadrupling. Point zero zero three five. If you triple this, it will make it times right. nine. And then, which I don't K, know what that word is, is in the K conversion. Solver, okay. yeah. For this first formula okay. here, I put that number. Um, zero, what was one. next? Oh, yeah, the units. Now zero. that we have Rates, this, raise we the have power to figure one. Out unit of Actually, K. let me use the units the here. Unit I'm being K. lazy. I have to use the units. M over S. So, rate. For K, second order equal K point zero one zero and raised to the power two. Raised to the power one. The one is implied. Let me add some more two. here. Point zero one. Not zero, all the questions the will be about the implications, but I'm some questions solve for K. will. So that's why I'm going over this. Rate is has a unit of m over. So S. to solve for k equal k. We're trying to solve for k. The unit for concentration oh. by default is to m, solve for k. But now we're squaring it, two. right? So yeah, m I'm squared. squaring the units. We're trying to solve for k. To solve for k, divide by what do we uh, here m is, um, squared. I'm going to open up these parentheses and then divide this okay. part by m Let me squared. work so this like part out first. m squared divide by this. Okay. Points cancel, zero, cancel. one. Now, and then this is raised I'm gonna to the power. I'm going to replace this. So divide with multiply. Power. So I'm just going to put Hat. m over s one times half. one over m squared equal k. I'm trying to solve for okay. k. Remember, so m squared, squared is the same thing as m as being point times one. m, okay? M and m. And I write the unit m power one half, candy. and I'll deal Peanut with that version. as it comes mm. along. And then okay. right here, so I'm going to multiply we're trying this to solve by this. So cancel point zero, m out, cancel m one out, zero, and we're left with times one over m. m. This is a we weird problem, two. but okay. yeah. Times m. Okay. So k is written like have this, this k right for here, and then order. we have point or zero zero three five m power negative m one over s power negative one. If you don't want so to multiply the, out the, the numbers on the bottom, point zero, zero right? Some people one, just zero, prefer like that. Times point one. So we so have this, this. times point At zero. At some point, we'll see one, a summary zero. table, and then we just kind of skip to that point real quick. Zero, we'll come zero, up with here. Is a summary and table. And this and this. I can scroll. And they I go get over get all the units and oh, there you multiply is. m, which is essentially we'll look at it one again. times one but half. See, and they have them in order. Of one one half. I'll leave it as is for right <laughs> no now. No pun intended. Okay. They have them organized. That's my by unit order. And then of course zero times order, first order. Second and then order. here I have a generic zero, rate law, zero, rate, three, rate three, law, rate law. And the units over come on. This, this is one of those weird hypotheticals. Multiply. So divide so both sides by this number S power to get k by one, itself. Point zero zero S power one. negative one. This divide is the same thing as m over zero s. Zero one. This cancels out. And this is supposed to be multiplied here. This is one over m s one or one half m negative right. one s. Negative this cancels one. out, and now so we what have we cover m today one, is one the first half. three columns here. So we end up we with the orders, zero the rate zero three five. So Later on in the chapter, zero, when we get zero, to the slide, we'll I don't know, I should have probably used the worksheets of this question. This is when you bring weird. some calculus in here. No, calculus is not a prerequisite this for this ends class, up so you will not be asked to do so this. I'll just show you how we go from the first one, to the second. The unit we'll is talk about the number the 3 graph and then one half life over expression. M. So we'll fill in the gaps and complete the rest of this times S. This is what I get for K. So. Now okay. that we've seen how a all very this weird comes together, unit. now we're going to be looking. But at don't questions, obsess so right? much with so the unit because here. I don't see in most be of your homework the ones I assign at least we don't have example the rate equation like for the reaction. I haven't of given N you ones that have weird is. orders. I normally don't do the for practice. Okay, so one, given the rate equation, the rate law. practice, I did that one. So the plan is always this. equal k. In this kind of questions, the steps are usually very similar. You are asked okay. to figure out the okay. rate law. You see Write from this right here, placeholder rate law, the order is and first for all the reactants. First for O3, right? It's raised to the power of so whatever letters you choose. Right here. If okay. you choose M so and the three the formulas, order you can use two, M and one plus P. One, two. Don't use M and O because the O looks like, like zero since we're here. Okay. So if the three formulas in the reactant rate, right? K equal K. I mean, rate equal to six times the first reactant, second reactant, raised to the power M and P. Molar per second. Solve for M. 
sulfur N, N sulfur and P. O concentration to sulfur N is once again, take experiment where the other two sets are constant. M. To and sulfur O3 N, ozone take the experiment where the other numbers are constant. Zero, and you zero, figure, once you pass this, you figure out which ones to pick, M. right? To solve for the different Calculate the rate exponents. constant. Oh, the sulfur orders. K. What is K? Exponent rules oh, to okay. solve for We're trying to solve M. for K. Use exponent rules to solve for N. So this is like you've gotten your rate you off of the like the weird one first we had order right reaction here. Thing. This bit, bit they give you the experiment up with that. They tell you solve for K. We can do that, right? Just rearrange. Yeah, you end up with I'm logs. I'm going to work this out on this side without adding pages. Hold on a second. Nine, Ray divided by six, nine. K. Yeah, you end up with logarithms, like the weird one like this. Three. For the most part, for though, K. remember I told you guys, you won't have by weird N questions o, like this, right? O three, and so you continue, and then you get your answer. Divide by Once you get N your rate o, low, after plugging in o the value three, of M and cancel, cancel, N, cancel, only then cancel. can you solve K. Okay, so K. this is what K is. is. I'm going to flip this so that K any is one of the experiments right? provided for you K is equal put to the rate num so number. So now I have here with the units and then the rate concentration here for the experiments that you pick and then plug in the numbers. And o, I'm just flipping it. So I want to write so K with the units. The numbers I'm putting in should okay. be in the right. K in this section has units. So now K is equal to rate is the top number. Six now that we've seen all of these, the other thing that you're going to be able, you're going to have to be I able to keep produce checking because is the overall sure reaction this well. I got transcribing issues. So 6.65 this here is the hypothetical five. situation to help you answer this divided question. Divided by okay. N O This is something that you need to know, zero zero times which is how to provide the overall reaction M. order. We know the right. reaction so just order this bottom for each here. individual reaction. 1.00 Like we know the speed of each okay. acid in the four people relay race. But we want to know what is the collective M. influence. Somehow my brain right? is like now that we know each acid, my brain is like vacation. Now I'm like, how no, it's can not. I'm still working on the problem brain. And how do they stay alert. together place in the competition? What is their collective time? So I have to keep myself So what is the overall order of the reaction? 6.6 exponential. The overall order of the reaction is very simple. It Close says here. So I put some, the parentheses in here for y'all to, to get see that, that I'm putting my parentheses to get my answer of right. The, take the, the top number divided by the overall the number reaction. reaction. Just add open parentheses one exponent the negative six. Exponents. Parentheses are very important in this okay. pursuit. Divide or by what we call the order three exponents negative reaction. six. To the right close In other words, overall order of reaction okay. is M I get K as a huge N. number. 2.2. So if you oh, have a bunch two of zeros, hold on. Formulas one, that actually two, three, influence four, two reactions five, that six, influence seven. the speed of the reaction, two point two add their orders, seven. and you get the overall okay. order. So they give you an example. Now here. I gotta think about the Say units, so. the rate okay. law for the I following reaction the is as follows. So this is a hypothetical. So I end up with let's say. An M rate, on the bottom and an S on the bottom. The rate law is rate. Oh, this is consistent with second order, right? Times. And the overall one is second order. So the K is second order one. Okay. O2, that so is, is first K. order, right? Second it's order, there's nothing that's implied here. See how it all ties in together? The unit here you, is the reaction the second is order K that we just second figured out order recently. with respect so the K to K and O. That. Now, so the, the individual one rate, if you're just looking at how the reaction order, is influenced right? by NO, it's going to be second order okay. with respect to NO. How's the reaction oh, rate yeah, influenced by O2? The reaction rate is going to be first order with respect to O2. Okay. Right. O two essentially is okay. first order this next one. in the way it a reaction has the, the following rate, but the way you law. write that is this way. Okay. This is looking at the rate individual athletes, the individual K. reactants. But then it asks you though As together a, collectively how, the, how do they? I'll just write the a rate. set. Okay. You add the a two. set will be the, Since the second order for the first one. The and first order for the second right. one is going to be third order right. overall. So as a group. As acid. a duo, okay, this is how they height. influence. The okay, the obviously reaction. the overall order for okay. this is two. So hopefully that makes sense. This part order, here right? is really once you get the what rhythm of it, is the it's rate not that the tough because they don't do a lot of the unpredictable high concentration. It's the is unpredictable seven times off ten power negative three. But if they're okay. predictable, I'm like, so they on. want us to solve okay. for a rate. Now what I've kind of talked over this, so this part will go a little faster as far as the acetaldehyde the implication is concerned. Is one point seven five. You want to know generic. So this is power, kind of going into the whole generalization. Molar, okay. You know chemists like to do this. And then the rate Genera constant is zization. So you want to know in general times 10 power what is zero six order rate per law like. molar. So like in per general, second, that's a zero rate law. Order, you see how it's all kind of coming together? 
for a zero you want to pay order attention reaction to, K look to like make sure this. you're understanding Ray is you know, equal to they K. didn't say second and order, a but here stands for the reaction second so order based on a, that and then the k just some generic second order k kind of like in math x is some generic okay. number you're solving for I'm getting what excited. is wanted <laughs> So this is a general I'm rate sorry, law, right? Sorry, I have to be excited. Rate is equal to k. <sighs> a raised to the power n. So we're gonna be easy. working out getting okay. the zero order. Rate equal. What is k? If a reaction is zero order, the rate of the reaction does not change negative or does six, not depend right? on the reactant concentration. That means One. the same here. If you double a. This will have no S, effect on the reaction K. rate. That's what I mentioned earlier. Times right? So the, high, the, the rate here law is one point seven five times 10 power negative K. 3 a I got the square of zero. This. You don't leave it as that. You can so leave I'll it as that or you can number write first so I don't forget. Equal Open parentheses, 1.75. But remember, chemistry is a problem of solving negative class, three. right? A to the right close solving class and as we try to understand the elements. You want to know things more than square. one rate way because you have different people communicating the okay. same information. I got some. They numbers, can write the zero number. rate law this so way. So what I'm gonna do here is or they um, can write the I'll zero rate law 6.73 times 10 where it's power implied six, the A concentration raised to the power MS. zero has already been times factored in. So this is what this you number have. here. Well, so you want to know it this way zero six three or this way times ten power. If Hold they on. say One, there was a two, reaction three, four, five, where six, the rate par did not six, change in response squared. to the concentration so the second of second number multiplied by, then you're like, oh, the second, they're talking about a zero three, order reaction. Exponent okay. negative six, six you three. write close parentheses. Okay. So for this and point I here, end up with make two sure I'm going to highlight the places that you need to know. Of course, you want to know this is a zero order negative reaction. Negative 11 right? zero for my rate order right okay. here. You want to know the generic units. form. I this have m here that means n times the bottom. So this is essentially n times They want to know the implications. One of the m's cancels out with the bottom m, and I'm left with implication. Oh, one So to make this part a little simpler, what I did was I calculated the rate of the reaction by changing the concentration. So you can see, which is consistent. Here, this is supposedly my makeup experiment. Let me tell you. You want to know how to do this part here, right? I was so confused about what I was doing. Too. I was so, so not really what are the implications of reaction like, rate at some point. How now do I've you learned the rate, right? but then I'm trying to figure everything out. Slower or not change. I wasn't sure about by I just wasn't sure about a lot of the reactions. So, so here, I used the units to make my life simple. I knew M over X I doubled the concentration. So if I worked on a problem and they said rate, so when the concentration of A was one, then I the rate of the reaction was one molar per second. If I got A was one molar. Order of reactions reaction, were one units, units, I knew I got the and order. Then I doubled it. if I was trying to solve Use for the twice different the case and I got the Look right how unit. That I knew I was in the, the right track. So it I didn't. really I went from hating so dimension analysis at this table, I can to using it as a an is not doing to much to doing influence the rate of the reaction. So a right because I needed that affirmation constantly. Zero. Teacher didn't have time to affirm me every time I, I was doing stuff. I doubled there to say nothing. Doing so great. But the units right. was telling me you also so want to know the anyway, units that's how of I the took rate. it, right? If I got the desired so for this part unit, here, I'm going to have to add a little right. bit. I'm going to add a page to show you the unit. So, yeah. Okay. Right we there, said so we that. for zero order, the rate law is so, as follows. Yeah. As we rate look at all of this, we see the summary K, of the reaction rate. Open parentheses. Uh, I added the summary oh, here to kind of remind us of what we've right, seen so far zero. and what you want to make sure so that this you have covered. A power we have zero talked about the, the average one. rate of the Therefore, reaction rate. Plus the terminology. We have average rate. K With the average rate of the reaction, this is where right, stoichiometry comes into play. So I talked about this last K. week. The average the rate unit of the for rate is usually ask you to M figure out the changing average concentration rate. over a second. So for the most part, they use the terminology K. Average so in this rate. section here, you, you need will to have know some kind of balanced equation. So let me go ahead and expand on this a little units bit. Units of K. Because I would rather get into integrated rate laws tomorrow versus start today. So I told you, okay. know this, the rate law. Let me think of law. a balanced equation. The two make different forms. Between hydrogen Know the implication is very popular this one. Here. To make if changing water. one doesn't change. Okay. Changing the so we've got hydrogen, the oxygen, and then no of water. 
and then okay. I just yeah. Oh, there's one more thing you need to so, know. So the graph is it asking you to find the well, average rate of later. this reaction. Yeah, that's coming they up later. On. We're still trying to understand the implications rate. of this. Let me not get ahead and of myself. And even if don't get so hang okay, up on the we've words, seen first order. Even if they don't, what does ask first you order include the word average? Because the first sometimes order they don't, and here, the authors make me angry sometimes. Like I usually I, again, starting with the general dots for them or against them. Equal. This is a general rate. Look at everything else they gave you. A raised to the power they can n. ask you to find the average rate or to if write the reaction the is first rate, order the rate is directly proportional to the reactant concentration so what they're reactants. saying here is if you judge a chemical or product as responding so if this they way, ask you to write what the that rate mean? according the to the reaction and, the and, and how it plays rate out law. in the lab then we that are back the to the rate of the reaction of the chapter is directly proportional you to the reactant rate concentration. of the reaction okay. remember this is a so they show you right? here what does that mean still that one means if you over double the coefficient a, the reaction from the balance that will actually double the rate of the reaction i'm not i'm not so if you want to double the rate of the reaction in the first order just double the reactant concentration and that would one over the coefficient and if you had a reaction don't forget to put a negative right one negative one over the coefficient rate and then you have the change K. in the concentration a is your generic reactant formula. you have no idea what it is you can put a here since they put a I'm over the put change a to the power n. time okay. since this is first order and n this is, is the way you will use to get the rate of the so reaction rate, if they tell you to find to it K, according to the reactant a, or the product you will use it. this method and this is the generic form of so first I'll give you an example of the hydrogen here. here. The generic form. You say rate. So make sure you know that. Equal. I'm writing okay. just the equation. I don't have the actual What's numbers. What's next? Negative. What's the coefficient on hydrogen? Implication. What does this mean? How does this affect One your life? Over two. And then changing reactant. Double change in concentration of H2 a concentration over double change in time. So what is the rate. other way you can tell what kind of uh, question they're asking reaction. you? They will give you remember in this the other case, one, the implication hydrogen, whatever to A and right? nothing happened. They'll to the tell rate. you the, rate the, same, uh, right? the hydrogen. So amount here you can see the little table we in have the, the beginning. So I'll say at time. This zero, is the one that's responding. And they'll tell you the hydrogen. You are changing a, a certain and then the rate is. So let's say in the beginning so you had one point zero zero more. The reactant concentration you had the rate also doubles. Zero zero more. I didn't work this out mathematically for the first time. Then they'll tell you the beginning time. Say the beginning time was uh, zero as seconds. far as the our math is concerned i'm so going to look at just the relation between the rate final and a, time right? let's say 10 seconds let's rate this easy and a. i'm just making up these numbers with rate so a, if you they have, have this relationship, the relationship amount of for here i'll say very to high keep, then for those you of you who want to right now, add one more step here and the time that i'm passes, trying to figure out how what is the rate of this reaction by using we're figuring out the rate by monitoring hydrogen well I have I need to get K here. out of the way because I feel like K is change in hydrogen so concentration. K equals one. I don't know what K is, but I'm gonna make it a number amount. I can easily work with, right? Minus the I'll initial make amount. K equal one. And then start and to do this. So that way, it looks final like time, rate, ten seconds Ooh, I equal didn't put here. A like that. Ten this is the seconds first minus initial. Zero okay. Seconds. Uh, to figure okay. out how this influences the now, rate, I mentioned I have this to before last week. Rate is right? always positive. In the so first experiment, experiment, you look experiment at this one, point five zero zero. I'm doing the parentheses first. I'll make a concentration one, equal to one more. Point five. And then for experiment then two, divide by the bottom one, divide by ten. I will 10, just double a. I end up with in the parentheses equal two negative more. Point and zero see how changing the concentration of a is is influencing the rate. Times we can predict is it going to be faster right? or going to be slower? It's so when I zero work order, everything so out, I end up with how? divide okay. by two. If rate equal one molar, I end up with sorry, if a equal two, one molar, five, then rate and rate is equal to a. Okay. Guess what? This becomes rate is my equal to one rate. molar. Also. Based on the little calculation I did, we said right here, so rate is equal to a. So when they ask you to figure out average rate, if I now you can double figure out the same a number is two molar by using this generic formula, which I wrote ever a is rate If you're following the reactant, see, you can also figure out the rate going from by looking at the product. Just doubles the rate, but because they have a the direct product, relationship, right? They said it was right directly okay. proportional. So if you're trying to solve like the a direct same thing looking at the product, let me just kind of wrap that up real quick. These chemical, the chemical directly so influences average, the rate. Okay. So back to the rate, rate thing. 
It would be like that runner that product, determines the race. Your equation will be the very race. similar, but it would be yeah. race. If we're going to win or lose, it's on this runner Equal right here. to Depending on the level of efficiency. This, this time, you will not put negative here. You leave okay. it as positive. But some runners and have times, exponential change in I, I saw this one girl on YouTube recently, and I was like, I wish I was a runner like her. <laughs> I was more like the zero order. <laughs> okay. Okay. This part, this would be positive. That's I the wasn't difference. bad. And I it has to use your two numbers it. again for the product, the two numbers for but time. Sometimes you work not, it out, you get rate. Your answer should be better than not unit and being over negative, S, right? right? Yeah, they are. So we just kind of summarize some reactions here. right there. Summarize the reactions. Done. That wasn't me. with the I rate law. Remember that rate law. Either. Okay, I gotta tell the truth. They ask you to find the rate law. Rate law always has this formula. Anyway, so now let's look at the second order, right? Rate. Let me make sure I've covered all things that we need to know. Right and here. then you may have oh, two reactants. The you you may have the one. I don't know. So raised to the power m. You see right the here the relationship, reactant. right? So finally, raised to the power the units n. And then Unit remember from here, Unit you have m of is the k. order. So we know that n and m, m order in this first of order is equal to reaction k times the concentration. And then we said a. overall order. Okay. Rate usually has a unit of m, m over second. N. We're trying to okay. solve for k. Where what does k come from? Maybe it's something Since I did a earlier. is a concentration, okay. it has a unit Overall of order, m. m plus n. We're trying to solve for k. Oh. So divide by okay. m. Yeah. And if they ask you to solve for k, divide by m. If you're asked to solve for so the magnitude, what we end up having here is which is k the value is equal to value m over s. So you know the multiplying to divide rule k times is equal one to over rate. m. So this and this cancel out, and we end up with the reactant concentration S being the unit for raised to the power n. So and then in the second reactant concentration raised to the power n. Reactions. Yep. And that's the summary so far of what I covered. So when we meet next time, which is tomorrow, and I'll send you guys a reminder. I have to send myself a reminder and send you guys a reminder, but you know how that works. K's unit is K's unit one over second. It's sometimes called so we'll start with one over the rate second law so or see how this second. comes up and how like we talk this. about the reaction at different points. This is the unit for K. Okay. In the this first is all order I have reaction. For today, so later on we'll you will see because in class we'll students usually ask me a lot of questions. They'll be like, Does anybody have any questions Does about this? Does that we can use the unit if <laughs> each of list. the orders do you have any questions about this? unit of K? Can we work backwards and use the unit of K to figure out what order? The reaction okay. is because so by we'll this bring point, in the graph tomorrow and saying, we try to summarize well, this topic. If we're working problems, how do we know what order the reaction? To the, the question is: do, do they tell I us? I mean, I'm hoping we get to the end. They but, yeah, that's the goal. Okay. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they don't. And then they were like, "Well, how okay, do you know?" Okay, I will see you tomorrow. They interrogate you. Have a nice afternoon. And I'm like, "Well, you can okay. use the unit of K to tell what Thank order you. the reaction is, or they will tell you sometimes." Okay, so sometimes they will tell you, sometimes you can use the units of K. So this is K for the first order. When we get to the other part that we're discussing tomorrow, you see how the K unit is the same. So finally, second order, second order reaction. I think that's right here. In the second order reaction, we start the same way with a generic form, right? And then this is the one that we saw first with the question I did last week. So we're kind of reviewing what we saw last week, right? Only last week we're doing the math first. Now we're learning the heart behind it or the message behind it. If a reaction is second order, the rate is directly proportional to the square of the reactant concentration. That's what we got. That's why doubling A will quadruple the rate of the reaction. Okay, this is what the rate law looks like, and this is a unit for the constant, and this is the implications. So let me go over that real quick, and then we'll start working problems. Yeah, we went over this where we said, for a second order reaction, the rate law is equal to this, the generic form, A raised to the power uh, N, where N is equal to 2. Okay, so rate is equal to K, A raised to the power 2. So, how are rate and the concentration of A related? The concentration of A is squared to influence the rate. So, if that's the case, then doubling A, like we said before, 
quadruples rate because whatever number you have in here has to be squared and then that influence is then exerted on the rate unlike the first order where whatever you do to a directly influences the rate this is a direct relationship here you have an exponential exponential is intense during the time of corona we understand exponentially if we if we if it was something that was removed it's become very real to our heart exponential is above and beyond just direct right so here they're using the word direct but it's a squared effect they're using the term direct, but it's not really a direct relationship. It's the square of the effect. So what they mean by that is, once again, the implication, the meaning, implication. Because they use certain terms sometimes. If you're not very familiar with those terms, they can be, uh, what's it called, confusing. But then you have to work problems. So if I'm going over this a lot, because you have to work problems where you have to understand this terminology, right? That's how I decided what was important as a student. If I saw a question on it, it was important. And I went back and relearned it. OK, implication of these words. The implication here is we're trying to understand how rate relates to A squared. So to get rid of K, I'll just make K equal one. That's kind of how you get rid of the influence of numbers, right? I don't know what K is. So to kind of get it out of the equation, so to say, literally, I'll make K equal to one. So I'm trying to see how does A influence rate? Okay, I'll start with what if A was just one? Okay, if A was one, then rate will be equal to one squared rate will be equal to one, okay? So if I doubled A, how would that influence rate? This time I'll double A. Rate will be equal to two squared, not just two, but two squared. So rate will be equal to four. So even though I'm just doubling A, rate is not also doubling. It will also double if this was first order, but since the second order, Whatever change you make in A, you get squared, the squared change in rate. So the, the, the rate actually quadruples. It doesn't double, quadruples. Because the relationship here is exponential, not direct, right? They say direct, but they say direct square. So you kind of have to read everything. It's directly proportional to the square. So this square is exponential relationship, right? Okay, now that we know the implication, doubling A doesn't double the rate, it quadruples it. It's like it doubles it twice. And it, in the end, what we see is quadrupling, okay? If you triple this, it will make it times nine, which I don't know what that word is in the quadruple version, but yeah. Okay, uh, what was next? Oh yeah, the units. Now that we have this, we have to figure out the unit of K. Unit of K. So rate for second order equal K, A raised to the power two. Let me ask some more here. Not all the questions will be about the implications, but some questions will, so that's why I'm going over this. Rate is, has a unit of M over S, so that part is done, equal K, we're trying to solve for K. The unit for concentration by default is M, but now we're squaring it, right? So M squared. We're trying to solve for k. Divide by uh, m squared, and then divide this part by m squared. So it's like m squared divide by this, OK? Cancel, cancel. Now, I'm going to replace the, the divide with multiply. So I'm just going to put m over s times 1 over m squared equal k. We're trying to solve for k. Remember, m squared is the same thing as m times m, m and m. Think of my favorite candy, peanut version. Mm. OK, so we're trying to solve for k. Cancel m out, cancel m out, and we're left with 1 over m s, which is equal to k. So k is written like this for second order. Or is written as k is equal to m power negative 1, s power negative 1, if you don't want to leave the, the units on the bottom denominator, right? Some people just prefer it like that. 
And so we have this. At some point, we'll see a summary table. And let me just kind of skip to that real quick. We'll come up to the math real quick. There's a summary table here. Let me see. I can scroll. And they go over all those units. And oh, there it is. We'll look at it again. But you see, they have them in order of, <laughs> no pun intended, they have them organized by order. Zero order, first order, second order. They give the, the generic rate law, rate law, rate law. The units, come on. This is supposed to be multiplied. So it's supposed to be m s power negative 1, s power negative 1. This is the same thing as m over s. And this is supposed to be multiplied here. This is 1 over m s or m negative 1, s negative 1. So what we cover today is the first three columns here. We cover the orders, the rate law, the units. So later on in the chapter, when we get to the slide, we'll cover integrated rate law. This is when you bring in some calculus in here. No, calculus is not a prerequisite for this class, so you will not be asked to derive this. I'll just show you how we go from the first to the second. We'll talk about the graph and then half-life expression. So we'll fill in the gaps and complete the rest of this when we meet tomorrow. So now that we've seen how all of this comes together, now we're going to be looking at questions, right? So I have some questions here. We're going to be judging these questions based on what we just saw. Example, the rate equation for the reaction of NO and ozone is Okay, so given the rate equation, the rate law, equal K, N, O, O3. K, I mean K. You see from this right here, the order is first for N, O, and first for O3, right? So I'm just saying right here, okay? So you could say the overall order is 2, 1 plus 1, 2. They didn't ask you all that. I'm just saying since we're here. So if the rate is, so we're given rate is equal to 6.6 .6 times 10 power negative 5 molar per second, so I'm right here, when NO, NO concentration is 1.00 times 10 power negative 6 M, and then O3, ozone concentration, is 3.00 times 10 power negative 6 M, Calculate the rate constant. Oh, solve for K. What is K? Oh, okay. We're trying to solve for K. So this is like you've gotten your rate law from the first order reaction thing. They give you the experiment numbers, that, that, and that. They tell you solve for K. We can do that, right? Just rearrange. I'm going to work this out on this side without adding pages. Rate equal K and O. O3. We're trying to solve for K. Divide by N O O3. Divide by N O O3. Cancel, 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 cancel. Okay, so this is what K is. I'm going to flip this so that K is a subject, right? K is equal to. So now I have rate over N O. I'm just flipping it. That's all I did. So I can. The numbers I'm putting in should be on the right, O3. So now K is equal to rate is the top number, 6.6 .6 times 10 power negative 5. I have to keep checking because to make sure I transcribe this well, I got transcribing issues. 6.65 .6 times 10 power negative 5 divided by NO concentration is 1.00 times 10 power negative 6 M. Right, so I just got this bottom number here. 1.00 times 10 power negative 6, okay. 3.00 times 10 power negative 6, M. Somehow my brain just, it's like when I'm copying things, my brain is like, vacation. I'm like, no, it's not. I'm still working on the problem, brain. Stay alert. <laughs> I have a mind that gets bored very easily, so I have to keep myself engaged on purpose. 6.6 .6 exponential negative 5. Close parentheses. So I put the parentheses in here for y'all to see that I'm putting my parentheses to get my answer right. Take the top number, divide by both bottom numbers. Open parentheses, one exponent, negative six. Parentheses are very important in this pursuit. Divide by open parentheses, three exponent, negative six. To the right, close parentheses. 
Okay, I get k as a huge number. It's 2.2. Who is a bunch of zeros? Hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 2.2 times 10 power 7. Okay. Now I got to think about the units though. Okay. I had two m's in the bottom. It cancels out one of the m's at the top. So I end up with an m on the bottom and an s on the bottom. Oh, this is consistent with second order, right? Yeah, and the overall one is second order. So the k is the second order one. Okay. So this is k. This is our answer. See how it all ties in together? The unit here is consistent with the second order k that we just figured out recently. So the k goes with that. Now the individual ones are first order, but the overall is second order, right? Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot they worked it out here. Right. Okay, this next one. A reaction has the following rate law. Rate equal K as uh, taldehyde. I'll just write a set, okay? A set will be the representation of acetaldehyde. It's a long word to write. I should write ACE. That's not important. Acet, okay, for acetaldehyde. Okay, obviously the overall order for this is two, second order, right? What is the rate of the reaction when the acetaldehyde concentration is 1.7 times 10 power negative three, okay? So they want us to solve for a rate. What is the rate? If the acetaldehyde concentration is 1.75 times 10 power negative three molar, okay? And then the rate constant is, and then K is 6.73, times 10 power negative six per molar per second. That's consistent with second order. You see how it's all kind of coming together? You want to pay attention to the K to make sure you're understanding, you know, they didn't say second order, but this is obviously second order based on that. And then the K, the second order K goes with that. Let's see, okay, I think I'm getting too excited. I'm sorry, I have to be excited. <sighs> There's not a whole lot to be excited about these days. Okay, rate equal, what is K? 6.73 times 10 power negative six, right? One over MS, that's the unit for K, times acetaldehyde, the unit here is 1.75 times 10 power negative three, I got to square this. So I'll deal with the square number first so I don't forget. Open parentheses, 1.75, exponent negative 3 to the right, close parentheses, and then square this. Square. Okay. I got some numbers, a really small number. So what I'm going to do here is, um, I'll just rewrite it, 6.73 times 10 power negative 6 one over ms times this number here. Wow, I get a 3.063 times 10 power. Hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six, power negative six m squared. So I take the second number, multiply by, open parentheses, 6.73, exponent negative six to the right, close parentheses, and I end up with 2.06 times 10 power negative 11 for my rate, okay? What are my units? I have m squared, that means it's m times m. So this is essentially m times m, right? One of the m's cancels out with the bottom m, and I'm left with, oh, one m still on the top. The bottom m is going to be... Oh, the bottom M is gone, right? So I'm just, I'm just left with M over S, which is consistent. The unit for rate is M over S. Let me tell you all, okay, my past. I was so confused about what I was doing. I was still not really very familiar with order of reaction rate at some point. Now I've learned it, right? But then I'm trying to figure everything out. I wasn't sure about K. I just wasn't sure about a lot of things. So I used the units to anchor. I knew M over S was rate. 
So if I worked out a problem and they said rate and I canceled out the unit and it ended up as M over S, then I knew I got the rate. If I got the um, order of reaction, there were no units, I knew I got the order. If I was trying to solve for the different case and I got the right unit, I knew I was in the right track. So I really, I went from hating dimensional analysis to using it as an anchor to tell me I was doing the right thing, right? Because I needed that affirmation constantly. And the teacher didn't have time to affirm me every time I was doing stuff. She wasn't there to say, you're doing so great. But the units was telling me, you're doing so great. And anyway, that's how I took it, right? If I got the desired unit, I had to be doing something right. Anyway, that's how I saw it. So yeah, right there. So they get that. So yeah, as we look at all of this, we see the summary of the reaction rate. Uh, I added the summary here to kind of remind us of what we've seen so far and what you want to make sure that you have covered. We had talked about the, the average rate of the reaction, right? Plus the terminology, we have average rate. With the average rate of the reaction, this is where stoichiometry comes into play. So I talked about this last week. The average rate of the reaction, they can ask you to figure out the average rate. So for the most part, they use the terminology average rate. You will have some kind of balanced equation. So let me go ahead and expand on this a little bit. Because I would rather get into integrated rate laws tomorrow versus start today. Okay. Let me think of a balanced equation. Make one up between hydrogen and oxygen, a very popular one, to make water. Okay. So we've got hydrogen, oxygen combined to form water. And then I just, yeah. So if they're asking you to find the average rate of this reaction, they can ask you to find the average rate and even if don't get so hang up on the words even if they don't ask you include the word average because sometimes they don't and the authors make me angry sometimes like i usually have some choice dots for them or against them look at everything else they give you they can ask you to find the average rate or to write the average rate according to reactants or products. So if they ask you to write the rate according to the reactant and product, and they didn't say rate law, then we are back to the beginning of the chapter where you would say the rate of the reaction. Remember, this is a general formula, right? Was that be one over the coefficient from the balance equation? Oh. I'm not, I'm not going to the door. My husband has to wake up because or get up and answer the door. Okay, one over the coefficient. And if you had a reactant, don't forget to put a negative, right? One negative, one over the coefficient. And then you have the change in the concentration of the reactant formula over the change in time, okay? And this is the way you will use to get the rate of the reaction if they tell you to find it according to the reactant or the product. You will use this method. So I'll give you an example. I will use hydrogen here. You say rate equal, I'm writing this the equation. I don't have the actual numbers with me. Negative, what's the coefficient on hydrogen? one over two, and then changing reactant, change in concentration of H2 over change in time. So what is the other way you can tell what kind of question they're asking you? They will give you, in this case, two hydrogen concentrations, right? They will tell you uh, the hydrogen amount in the beginning, so I'll say at time zero, and they tell you the hydrogen amount after a certain time. So let's say in the beginning you had 1.00 molar. After a certain time you had 0 0.500 molar. You will have those numbers. Then they'll get they'll tell you the beginning time. Say the beginning time was zero seconds. Usually the beginning time is the beginning, so that's zero seconds. And then their final time, let's say 10 seconds. Let's keep this easy. I'm just making up these numbers. So if you have the beginning amount of hydrogen, which was very high, then you have half of it ran out. 
and the time that passes 10 seconds, what is the rate of this reaction by using, by figuring out the rate by monitoring hydrogen? Well, I have the formula here, one half change in hydrogen concentration, use the second number, the final amount minus the initial amount. And then over changing time, final time, 10 seconds. Oh, I didn't put my units here. 10 seconds minus initial, zero seconds. Okay. Now I mentioned this before last week, rate is always positive. So if you look at this, 0.500, I'm doing the parentheses first, minus one, I get negative 0.5. Then divide by the bottom one, divide by 10. I end up with in the parentheses, negative 0 0.05 M over S. Yeah, I'm trying to wrap this up times negative one half, right? So when I work everything out, I end up with divide by two. I end up with 0 0.025 M over S. Okay, this becomes my rate based on the little calculation I did. So when they ask you to figure out average rate, you can figure out the same number by using this generic formula, which I wrote better over here, if you're following the reactant. You can also figure out the rate by looking at the product, but if you're trying to look at the product, your formula has to be different right here, okay? So if you're trying to solve for the same thing, looking at the product, let me just kind of wrap that up real quick. So average rate from product, your equation will be very similar, but it will be rate equal to one over coefficient. This time you will not put negative here, you leave it as positive, and then times change in product concentration over change in time, okay? This part, this would be positive. That's the difference. And they have to give you the two numbers again for the product, the two numbers for time. You work it out, you get rate. Your answer should be unit M over S, right? So we just kind of summarize this part here. Summarize, done. With the rate law, remember rate law? If they ask you to find the rate law, rate law always has this formula, rate law. Rate equal K, and then you may have two reactants, maybe you may have one, I don't know, raised to the power M, the second reactant raised to the power N. And then remember from here, you have M is the order, N and M orders of reaction. And then we said overall order, M plus N, okay? Where did that box come from? Maybe it's something I did earlier, okay? Overall order, M plus N. Oh, okay. Yeah, and if they ask you to solve for K, if you're asked to solve for the magnitude, which is the value or value of K, remember, K is just equal to rate divided by the reactant concentration raised to the power M, and then the second reactant concentration raised to the power N. Yep, and that's a summary so far of what I covered. So when we meet next time, which is tomorrow, and I'll send you guys a reminder. I have to send myself a reminder and send you guys a reminder, but you know how that works. I'll say start here. Okay, so we'll start right here. So we'll start with integrated rate law so you can see how this comes up and how we talk about the reaction at different points in time. Okay, this is all I have for today and then we'll finish, hopefully we'll finish this chapter tomorrow. Does anybody have any questions about this? I see it's just <laughs> one person left. Do you have any questions about this? Okay. So we'll bring in the graphs tomorrow as we try to summarize this topic and then complete the topic till the end. I mean, I'm hoping we get to the end, but yeah, that's the goal, okay? Okay, I will see you tomorrow. Have a nice afternoon.
Okay. Thank you.